One day we flew into Okeechobee to get something to eat with a friend of ours. He had a gyro. And we flew in there and he lived on an airstrip not too far from there, so we'd meet up at Okeechobee and have breakfast or something. So we were sitting there getting finished with our breakfast and sitting outside drinking coffee and watched an old boy with an amphibian ultralight with pontoons on it. We watched him taxo, taxi out and down the taxiway and he took off and he headed straight for Lake Okeechobee. And we sat there talking and we heard over some conversation or they had a radio in there or something <clears throat> that there's a plane down in the lake. So we went out and hopped in our gyros and took off and went in the same general direction that he did. And we went down fairly low and was looking to see if we could see anything. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we found a, but this fellow was swimming. I turned the lake and there was no boats or no airplane or nothing around, but here was this guy floundering around the water. <clears throat> so we went over and it wasn't very far away, it was a bass boat. And uh, we flew down and buzzed him two or three times and gave him some hand signals and he finally took on after us and we got him to go over there and they picked him up. They drug him up on the bow of the boat. And as near as we can figure is that he didn't belt himself in. And he evidently was doing some, going to do some touch and goes on the lake with his pontoons. Well, evidently he hit her crooked and throwed his butt out in the lake. And then the uh, airplane just kept taxiing out down the taxi, across the lake. So I guess they finally found it and got it. And he was all right. So it turned out into a good day anyway. So we left there and we decided we'd go to Sebring. So we was running across country there and, and Julie and I was flying over there. There's a real track runs down through there. And we was over there just a little bit of safety thing. We, there'd be some openings along the side of it. We could land if something happened. And uh, our old buddy McGregor, he was flying off to the left of us and he would like to fly low. And he was down on the ground and zipping over the swamp and the ponds and whatever. And, uh, and Julie said, you reckon he sees them power lines up there? And there's some little power lines. They wasn't no great high powered lines. These are just small regular lines. <clears throat> He's here straight for them. He flew under them power lines and kept going. Just just kind of scared us. We thought he was going to crash. We got over to see him and asked him about it if he did that or was he? Was that something he'd done normally, or what was the deal? And he said, I didn't fly under the power lines. We couldn't convince him that he had flew under those power lines, but we had watched him, so we know he did. So that was two situations in one day with a gyroplane. 